Wake up, Samurai. We have a lamp to make. Hello, this is Verma. Nowadays, acrylic figurines and lamps are commonplace in interior design and even has collector's items. And in theme and geek shops, our current craft would sell like hotcakes. Or it could become a decoration for a gaming club or a laser tron. Today, we are going to show you how to create this kind of light with Watson 1610 LT. So that when you wake up, you'll not realize in a dream, in a game or in life. Watch this video to the end and I'll tell you where you can get such a layout. Here we go. You'll need 3mm thick acrylic. We've made three different types, white, blue and black to show you this layout in all its glory. We'll be using a Watson 1610 LT. This machine is great for working with acrylic because of the size of the work area, as the material does not need to be pre-cut. The first thing we do is load the layout into the program so that the machine knows what to do. We talked more about this in our other video. You can watch it after this. So we have the layout for our six parts. Now we need to set the cutting parameters. At this point, we should tell you about the peculiarities of working with acrylic. Typically, 10 watts of power is used for every 1.5 millimeters of acrylic. However, the power of the laser tube itself also affects the percentage we use. As you remember, we have three millimeters of acrylic here. Let's set the necessary parameters and don't forget the extractor. This is a must when working with plastics, including acrylics, as the process produces fumes and odors. We've turned down the lens blowing a lot. Why? If the blowing is strong, the edge can be wavy, and by reducing it, we guarantee a mirror-like edge. The nozzle used on this machine also ensures a smooth and clean finish. Truncated and with a smaller outlet diameter, it concentrates the airflow to a single point. Watson has different nozzles depending on the model and application. The 0503 and 6040 engravers have an extended nozzle, as these machines are designed for engraving. This 6mm diameter nozzle disperses the airflow so that the combustion and cutting products do not stick to the surface of the material. This prevents the formation of soot. Conversely, cutting some materials, such as plywood, requires a stronger blow. The airstream, together with the laser beam, penetrates the material and blows out the combustion products. For this reason, the Watson 6090 and higher use a truncated nozzle with a smaller diameter. We need to secure the material to the workbench to minimize the risk of rejection. We also don't remove the film from the acrylic. We lay it down with it so that the material is not damaged. But we do this because we don't have very small parts. We told you more about cutting acrylic without film in another video where we showed four ways of cutting depending on the desired result. We suggest you watch this video. The link is in the description. What do you think? Is it better to cut with or without film? Now it's time for the cutting. While the machine does its job, we'll tell you a few facts about the 1610 LT. It can work with many materials, plywood, plexiglass, fabric, plastic, leather, cardboard, paper and rubber. And because this model has two wonderful letters LT in its name, it can work with materials up to 160 millimeters thick. And the through table eliminates length restrictions. But if you don't need such a large working area, Verma offer smaller machines, such as the Watson 0503 or Watson 6040. With these machines, you'll also be able to produce such a lamp. So our parts are ready. Let's take them out. We have a prefabricated structure, but we have used glue for extra strength. Inside, we'll put the LED. And presto, the lamp is finished. It'll definitely look spectacular next to your monitor or in a case with a transparent panel. Well, you can find the layout for this lamp at the link in the description. Let us know in the comments what color lamp you would make. Give us a like if you like it and tag us in your posts. It's been Verma. See you in the next video.